Introduction We know that plants and animals were present on this planet before the human race evolved. As man started using plants and animals for its basic needs, he started giving names to plants and animals in their own language. A common name is a name in general use within a community. It is often contrasted with a scientific name. Organisms are named using Latin and in such a way that no two have the same name. We know that taxonomy is the branch of biology concerned with identifying, naming and classifying organisms. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Identify taxonomy categories Understand species Understand genus Find the types of family Understand types of order Understand class Understand phylum Study about kingdom Find out various taxonomical aids Understand how to make a herbarium Find out about various botanical gardens Understand what is museum Find out about a various zoological park And understand what is key Taxonomy Naming and identifying organisms began with Greeks and Romans Aristotle classified organisms into groups such as horses, birds and oaks He said that living things were either plants or animals in the Middle Ages, organisms were described using long Latin descriptions. John Ray, 1627 to 1705, argued that each organism should have a set name. Otherwise, men cannot see and record accurately. Polynomials were a string of Latin words and phrases consisting of up to 12 or more words. This system was cumbersome and confusing. In the 1750s, the Swedish biologist Carlos Linnaeus developed the binomial system. Binomials are two-part names. First word is genus name. Second word is specific epithet. The two words are written in italics. Together they form the scientific name. Example, Magnifera indica, mango. Taxonomic categories. Aristotle classified life into 14 groups, example, mammals, birds, etc. Ray grouped animals and plants according to how he thought they were related. Modern taxonomists use the following classification. Species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, domain. Taxonomists use a hierarchical system to classify organisms. Species According to John Ray, about 1700, a species is a group of individuals that can breed with one another and produce fertile offspring. Ernst Mayer, 1940s, proposed the biological species concept. Genus Genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera. A genus term comes from Latin genus, descent, family, type, gender or from Greek genos, race, plus stock, which is kin. We can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species. Family Family has a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species. A family term comes from Latin familia, which means familial. Example, we can say potato, tomato and brinjal belong to Solanaceae family. While lion, leopard, tiger etc. come under family felidae. Order a group of closely related families having certain common characters. An order term comes from Latin ordo, series, row, order. Example, plant family Solanaceae and Convolvulaceae 
are included in the order Pulmoniales. While animal families like Felidae and Cancidae come under order Carnivore. Class, a group of closely related orders having certain common characters. A class term comes from Latin classes, a class or order, sort, kind. Example, class Mammalia. Phylum. In biology, a phylum is a taxonomic rank below kingdom and above class. A group of closely related classes having certain common characters. In botany, phylum is equivalent to division. Kingdom. The kingdom or regnum is a taxonomic rank in either the highest rank or the rank below domain. Each kingdom is divided into smaller groups called phyla. A system of six kingdoms is Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protista, Archae, Bacteria. While some consider only five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. Domain. Domain is the highest taxonomic rank of organisms, higher than a kingdom. It is also called super regnum, super kingdom, or empire. According to Karl Woos, there are three domains. Arachia, Bacteria, Eukaryota. Taxonomic aids. Storehouses of information and specimens which can help in identification and classification of organisms are called taxonomic aids. There are several taxonomic aids like herbaria, botanical gardens, museums, and zoological parks. Herbarium. Herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimens that are dry, pressed, and preserved on sheets. Further, these sheets are arranged according to a universally accepted system of classification. These specimens, along with their description on herbarium sheets, become a storehouse or repository for future use. The herbarium sheets also carry a label providing information about date and place of collection, English, local, and botanical names, family, collector's name, etc. These specimens may be whole plants or plant parts. These will usually be in a dried form, mounted on a sheet, but depending upon the material may also be kept in alcohol or other preservatives. The specimens in a herbarium are often used as reference material in describing plant taxa. Some specimens may be types. Botanical Gardens a place where a variety of plants are grown, primarily for scientific or educational reasons, but are normally open to the public and include ornamental plants from around the world. These specialized gardens have collections of living plants for reference. Plant species in these gardens are grown for identification purposes, and each plant is labeled indicating its botanical scientific name and its family. The famous botanical gardens are at Royal Botanical Garden, Kew, England. The famous Indian Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow, India. Museum. Biological museums have collections of preserved plant and animal specimens for study and reference. Biological museums are generally set up in educational institutes such as schools and colleges. Specimens are preserved in the containers or jars in preservative solutions. Plant and animal specimens may also be preserved as dry specimens. Insects are preserved in insect boxes after collecting, killing and pinning. Large animals like birds and mammals are usually stuffed and preserved. Museums often have collections of skeletons of animals too. Zoological Park. These are the places where wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care and which enable us to learn about their food habits 
and behavior. All animals in zoo are provided, as far as possible, the conditions similar to their natural habitats. Children love visiting these parks, commonly called zoos. Key Key is another taxonomical aid used for identification of plants and animals based on the similarities. The keys are based on the contrasting characters generally in pair called couplet. It represents the choice made between two opposite options. This results in acceptance of only one and rejection of the other. Each statement in the key is called a lead. Separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category such as family, genus and species for identification purposes. Keys are generally analytical in nature. Flora, manuals, monographs and catalogues are some other means of recording descriptions. They also help in correct identification. Flora contains the actual account of habitat and distribution of plants of a given area. These provide the index to the plant species found in a particular area. Manuals are useful in providing information for identification of names of species found in an area. Monographs contain information on any one taxon. Did you know? Acetabularia is the largest plant cell ranging from 6 to 10 centimeters. E. coli is a bacteria having a size of 5 mu meter. Tallest tree is Eucalyptus regnans and is 114 meter tall. Sequoia sempervans, redwood tree, is about 11 meter tall and is found in California. Elephant is largest land animal. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. In order to facilitate the study of kinds and diversity of organisms, biologists have evolved certain rules and principles for identification, nomenclature, and classification of organisms. The branch of knowledge dealing with these aspects is referred to as taxonomy. The taxonomic studies of various species of plants and animals are useful in agriculture, forestry, industry, and in general for knowing our bioresources and their diversity. The basics of taxonomy like identification, naming, and classification of organisms are universally evolved under international codes. An organism represents or occupies a place or position in the system of classification. There are many categories or ranks and are generally referred to as taxonomic categories or taxa. All the categories constitute a taxonomic hierarchy. Taxonomists have developed a variety of taxonomic aids to facilitate identification, naming, and classification of organisms. These studies are carried out from the actual specimens which are collected from the field and preserved as referrals in the form of herbaria museums, and in botanical gardens and zoological parks. It requires special techniques for collection and preservation of specimens in herbaria and in museums. Life specimens, on the other hand, of plants and animals are found in botanical gardens and zoological parks. Taxonomists also prepare and disseminate information through manuals and monographs for further taxonomic studies. Taxonomic keys are tools that help in identification based on characteristics.